Were you also amused by all the deciphering happening in the Da Vinci Code? Or do you still think math is not applicable to real life? Well, let me tell you how the security of all your text messages, emails, VPN, and even websites is secured by mathematical cryptography. Cryptography is the art of decoding messages. For example, the Caesar cipher. Let's look at an example. Let's write the first five letters of the alphabet and use the key free. To encrypt, we use plus three, so A goes to D, and to decipher, D goes to A, the same key. This is a case of symmetric cryptography, where the key and methodology used for decoding and encoding are the same. But there is also asymmetric, where the key or the methodology is different. For example, public key cryptography uses both public key and a secret key, so that no one without knowing the secret key can decode it. And the most famous example is RSA. How does RSA work? First, we compute two prime numbers, P and Q. And we multiply P by Q to get N. Then we need to compute our secret key, which we will denote as S, and our public key, which we will denote as P. S and P should be computed in such a way that they are equal to one modulus theta of N. What is modulus? Closer look. For example, modulo four means the residue of division by four. So for example, 11 is equal to three modulo four because 11 is equal to two times four plus three. This is our modulo. And phi of N is Euler's totient function. And in this case, it is equal to p minus 1, q minus 1. For example, if n is equal to 23 times 41, this is our p, this is our q, phi of n will be equal to 22 times 40. So how do we encrypt? Let's say we have a message m, and we are sending m prime, which we will encrypt in such a way that message is taken to the power of p, our public key, by modulus of theta of n. And we're sending this message, and now how do we decipher this message? Well, m is equal to m prime to the power of s, our secret key, which only we know and can use, modulus theta of n. Factors that will ensure the insecurity of RSA are primality, randomness, and the size of p and q, as well as prime divisors of p minus 1, q minus 1, and p minus q. But right now, we're developing quantum computers, and with the surest algorithm, RSA can be easily broken down. So let's consider different methods, such as Schnorr algorithm or elliptic curve cryptography. Stay tuned to learn more about those encryption methods with me.